top water bait that you've got to have in your arsenal is the buzz bait. Now this thing's been around for eons and Strike King has several different models to fit different situations. One thing about it is, is you definitely want to be able to throw this really far. I highly encourage you to throw this on at least a seven and a half foot medium heavy rod. You want to get it way out from you as far as you can get it. Next thing you want to do is you want to fish this on a little bit heavier line because all the casting on this thing wears heavily on your knot. So you want a knot that's going to hold up and you want something to be able to hook, put the hook in the fish. Hike. Yeah. Well, I'm fishing a great big old buzz bait, starting out typically a largemouth bait. And I thought, you know what? I'm starting out at a disadvantage behind the boat. But if I get a fish to hit it, it might be a quality fish. Now, when people bump a fish, you call it bump board. It's a device used to measure. Close their mouth, fan their tail. Now, we're going 12 inches. That's a 16 inch fish. So, well, beyond legal. Now, this is a bait that you definitely don't want to throw on braided line. The strikes on this thing are so explosive that you're watching this bait the whole time you fish it. And when a big fish comes up and takes this, you visually see the strike and you want, you want to jerk away from it. The stretch in the monofilament gives you just that cushion that you need to not jerk that bait out of that fish's mouth or away from him before it has it. We all know that have fished with topwater baits, especially buzz baits. How many times does a fish come up and miss it or short strike it? Well, one thing that we talked about earlier, it's all about tips today. And a tip that I'm going to give you is a trailer hook. Sounds pretty simple. I like to use, especially for bass fishing, something in the four to five aught range. Strike King came out with this bait, and as you can see, we'll get a close-up shot. It's actually in the whole eye is encased in rubber. And what's that do? It makes it easier to get on, and it keeps it on there. You know, they're tight sliding over, but that's the good point. When you use a rubber dipped eye, as you can see that there, the eye of that hook on that hook keeps it in position. So the hook's gonna stay out. As you can see there, the rubber skirt comes down to about the same length as the hook. That tip there will put more fish in the boat.